Hi everybody, some tough action tonight against a local businessman after police raided one of his downtown shops for illegal synthetic drugs. Good evening, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Reed Cowan. And I'm Marie Mortera. Las Vegas City leaders making that business owner accountable, voting to revoke his business licenses. News 3's Nathan O'Neill joins us live now near Charleston and Maryland Parkway at the 702 Mart, which was raided by police back in February. Yeah, and police say that the man who owns this shop knowingly sold spice to customers here. And while he already faces criminal charges because of it, for city leaders, it doesn't end there. This is Thamer Georgie's back in February. The booking photo taken after police raided one of his businesses. Georgie's accused of illegally trafficking synthetic drugs. Probably hundreds, if not thousands of vials and containers. Thousands of vials of spice, also known as K2 or synthetic marijuana, confiscated from the 702 Mart on Charleston near Maryland Parkway. According to the arrest report, Georgie's kept hidden drawers packed with spice and conducted under-the-counter cash sales. This all coming to light after a city inspector tipped off police. He has not filed an opposition to this complaint. And here is Georgie's today, sitting quietly behind his attorney as the Las Vegas City Council votes unanimously to revoke three business licenses associated with him. That my client is here today in the surrendering his licenses that are the subject of this complaint. The city taking swift and decisive action with evidence showing that the licensing division had previously warned Georgie's that it was illegal to sell spice, a drug known to cause hallucinations, overdose, and even death. And Georgie's currently faces criminal charges for trafficking controlled substances. His next court appearance is set for July 27th. Reporting live, I'm Nathan O'Neill, News 3. Nathan, thank you.